Thanks and does it for sponsoring this episode. To be here in uh, in this place has pushed us to experiment a, a different version of uh, our voyage, of our trip. Different from what used to be. Excuse me, do you know where the hiking is? We are Georgia and Diego. And this is our home, Unforgettable. For the past five years, we've been sailing the planet. Our challenge now is to continue the adventure as our family grows. When we were young, Subscribe we and join our life at sea. Signs, what are we gonna do now, Isla? Tell us, tell people what you're gonna do. Well, you're gonna watch. I'm gonna cut and... Yeah, it's time, I need a haircut and... Yeah, the Imorea here, there is no, I'm sure there is, but we don't know where it's a nice uh, saloon or whatever you call it. So George is gonna cut this hair. But, wow, just have one scissor and she has very short experience. So wish me luck, guys. The thing is, to be honest, Diego is lazy to go to a hairdresser. Because, of course, they could be much better than I will. I'm sure it's gonna be crappy, but, do I say that, crappy? Well, it's up to you. I hope not. I'll do my best, but I don't know how to cut a hair. So we're, we're going to use the machine after. So I'm just going to cut. Are you sure? Yes. Yes, I can't stand my hair any longer. Haircut with a view. Sunset haircut in Georgia. Doesn't have any clue what she's doing. No, definitely not. Sweet me aside. The rushing water knows no bounds or tender matters such as life. How's it looking, crew? Do you like it? Is Georgia proof as a hairdresser? <sighs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Just to be clear. Last time I did it, he said I would never do it again. Then here am I. Final adjustments. I kind of like it. It's not too bad. Oh gosh. Far from good, but it's not too bad. Good from far, far from good. <laughs> exactly. I'm a real person, so it can grow back. Do you see? It's growing back. But what did you do? It's growing back. Don't worry, it's growing back. But what did you do? What did you do to your hair? Don't worry. As there were no more jobs left on the boat, I decided to do something very, very important. Top priority, with, which is to change all the lines from the fenders. <laughs> and uh, organize everything. You, cannot, you can believe it or not, but we have six fenders and each one <laughs> of them had one different line. I have the satisfaction of doing something today and some stuff you do because you need and some because you want to. Finally, a beautiful day today. It has been really windy these past weeks and so it was a good excuse to procrastinate on a job that we had to we have to do. And since we left the marina nearly three months ago, we had this horrible, horrible fender marks on our top sides and you know just like oh it's too windy we are too busy the baby is it's too small but today is the day to remove all this and uh yeah i'll take advantage from this nice weather and scrub this thing out because i'm uh, i'm feeling embarrassing every time we come to an anchorage you come with these <laughs> horrible marks and yeah it has to go Sugar
As you've probably seen, this video is sponsored by Undoes It. Undoes It has a complete line of boat and RV cleaning products and we partnered up with them to try some of their products. And I think this thing here is the perfect opportunity to try this guy. It's the boat and RV wash. This is a ultra concentrated formula that uh, you can apply on gel coat, fiberglass, metal, wood, canvas and many kind of surfaces. And Supposedly it removes grease and uh, many kind of stains with fast and leave it shiny. So you can apply over, you, know, you can apply and don't remove your wax, not that we have any, but in case you do, you know. So let's see how it goes. Something important when choosing your cleaning products is to check their composition and undoes it products they are free of chlorine, ammonia, hydrocarbon and phosphate and they are also biodegradable. Are you proud of your top sides now? Can we get you an anchorage without embarrassment? Yeah, well, I actually, it's funny to say, I feel relieved. And yeah, uh, a bit of scrub and it's so, so much better. We didn't expect to stay this long in French Polynesia. Our initial plans was to stay here one year and then carry on sailing and exploring the next destinations. But the situation given is this. We are here for two years and we're looking for three years before we can leave. So borders are open and everything is kind of back to normal. To be here in, a, in this place has pushed us to experiment a, a different version of uh, our voyage, of our trip different from what used to be and uh, one one huge impact was economically because whenever we were making we we're making passages we had crew on board and that uh, helped us to support uh, boat costs and also I don't know if you know but uh, I work offshore and so once maybe twice a year I would fly away from the boat get some work done and be, then come back here since COVID, I could not do that. But uh, on the other hand, Isla has been born nearly four months ago now, and uh, we could enjoy, we could be both of us with her every single hour of her life. And this is a fantastic privilege. Uh, I, I don't think I would trade this for anything. And it's, uh, it's nice. But besides that, being, in a, being tight economically, we, we had to learn more than ever to enjoy the little things and to do things by ourselves and to rely on ourselves and to cut costs and to, to live uh, uh, day by day. It's not the end of the world, you know, it's just like uh, we, we have enough for food, we have enough for, we have a very comfortable home, we are in a paradise place, but still there's a mindset that just like, no, pushed me just like, oh no, I have to be accumulating, you have to be uh, saving money for your retirement or future. And that's there, that's, I cannot fight it. Overall, it's a great exercise, in the minimum. Of course, I would be liking, I would like to be making more money and just uh, have, have money on the bank and things like that. But really, it's uh, the, the, the life I was dreaming about was not when I was I was planning this trip I was not planning about making money I was I was planning to be in places like that exploring new cultures and in touch with nature and uh, having time for ourselves that's that was my plan it was not like making money was never my plan so but still still I feel something like that and I'm not here complaining it's just like there's uh, I'm just stating uh, a deeper feeling 
and something you have to fight with and because sometimes I, I, I feel bad about it, about, about uh, not uh, building our future or just like uh, not being saving money but then I look the place I am and the situation I are living and how privileged we are and then I feel bad about feeling bad and yeah I don't know if I, I made myself uh, like I made me understand myself but I think I live, live with simplicity and uh, enjoying the little moments is it's a great great uh, teaching that this this month here had uh, had bring to me and there's still some ahead because I don't think anything will change in the near future unless something changes I just made another batch of this mouthwash that we have been using for a while and it's really good so I want to share the recipe with you guys today. It's homemade, all made from natural ingredients so it's very easy, very cheap and very healthy for your mouth. You're gonna need 500 ml of drinkable water, 1 tablespoon of coconut oil, 20, uh, 20 drops of peppermint essential oil and 12 drops of tea tree essential oil. And also a bottle. I prefer a glass bottle because since it's gonna be here for a while, I think it, it keeps, I don't know, it, I just think it feels better. This is just a regular kombucha bottle, nothing fancy. And how are you gonna do it? You're just gonna mix everything in the bottle. Water, coconut oil, essential oils, give a very nice shake, like for two, three minutes. So all the ingredients mix very well. And then it's ready. It's done. Super easy. To come. I feel hope in the strength of our Let's go! Park in the car under a coconut tree. Well, at least they are not coconuts, so it's not gonna make any damage. Okay, stay well. Let's go. Okay, this is our guide for today. Georgia has done this hike before. So, very likely we got lost because she tends to forget stuff. Boo! I hope I'm wrong. Looking for support already? Online support? Is that right? I just, the thing is, I came with our friends and they, uh -huh. they knew the way. And I didn't pay attention, I just followed them. Uh -huh. So, I didn't see where the trail starts. But I'm sure there's a sign somewhere because it was like an easy trail with signs and we're gonna find it. Uh, <laughs> I know my crew. <laughs> Look at her face. <laughs> I'm sure it's very close. Okay. Just keep walking a little bit more. Excuse me. Do you know where the hiking is? My wife guide. She's kind of lost. You're not much of a talker, are you? Maybe if I speak French? Pardon, Mademoiselle Vache. C'est où le hiking? 
No. Merci. This is where we came out the other time. So I think if we go in here, we will come out on the the place where we enter the trail. Do you understand it? And so we're gonna Let's do, the, do the opposite way. The opposite way. Okay. So yes. we miss the entrance, then we're gonna we're gonna start from the end and then. Yeah. Finish in the beginning. Okay. That works. <laughs> that peak is where we're going today. And nah, not really. <laughs> <laughs> wow, <laughs> you're going, I'm, I'm waiting here. Actually it might be super cool but not with a baby and you know I, I, we need to be prepared to go all the way there. Yeah, I think we need climbing gear. Yeah, probably. Must be insane. As you know, I wasn't completely lost, I just didn't remember where to start the trail. Now you can see we have all the trails, the times and everything. I got to the right spot, you know. I'm not, not lost at all. <laughs> this is uh, what Rachel was talking about. It's just like that uh, experimental farm. They are doing experiments with uh, organic farming. Because one big issue they found out here is just like, as I told you, they grow lots of stuff here. All these pesticides are washed over by the rain, end up in the lagoon. And this is very, very bad for the reef. So one, one measure they are trying to put is just like develop organic, organic uh, agriculture to protect the reef because all this puts a lot of nutrients in the water and there's algae growth and kill the corals. So I think it's a very nice initiative and this is the place. What did you find in there? I got some fruits. It's a pamplemousse or a grapefruit, something like a local grapefruit. And I think it's time for a break, huh? Do you want to chat, Isla? <laughs> Did you got it guys? It's a funny language, yes? <laughs> That was a fun morning. Actually, it's 9.30 and we already did something with our day, so I'm pretty happy. Success, huh? Today, good, good. today is already a successful day. Yes, thank you, Isla, for waking up, waking <laughs> us up very early. Yeah. And our dinghy is still there, so that's also... I do, I do have to confess that I almost like gave up because I was super sleepy and I thought I could stay at bed. But I'm glad, I'm glad we came. We can take a siesta now. Yeah, sure. That's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thanks once again to Undoes It for sponsoring this video and remember to click the link in the description below to try Undoes It products yourself. And yeah, if you're new here, remember to subscribe, give a thumbs up to this video and see you next, next Thursday. Thursday. One and a half soup spoon of coconut oil and yes Isla, that's it. 20, 
20 drops of peppermint essential essential oil and 12 drops of tea three <laughs> essential oil. What the Someone wanna talk? You wanna talk? Do you wanna give the recipe? You wanna play the YouTuber? Oh, you're shy now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do it again. Let's just remind you once again since Isla doesn't stop talking. <laughs> all right, all right, baby. Okay, so 20 drops of peppermint essential oil, 12 tea tree essential oil, one and a half soup spoon of coconut oil, and 500 ml of water. What the hell is happening with this baby? <laughs> You wanna talk to your mom? Yeah, you wanna chat? You wanna chat? <laughs>